have completed one, we are going to put it in our the weight loss if need to be. But really throughout the rehearsals, you get a closer look. Hello everyone and welcome to The Focus Show. I'm your host Trey Mobley and today we have Miss Courtney Rice, the drama teacher at Mitchville High School, talking to us about Mitchville's production of The Little Mermaid. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. So, um, how did you decide to do The Little Mermaid? A lot of kids like it and there's not a lot of male parts in it, so we have a lot of girls. How was casting and finding the main character, Ariel? That's very easy. There's lots of little girls who dream of being Ariel in the bathtub. Um, some little boys, too. Uh, but yeah, so finding an Ariel is easy. How many dates did you have for the show? Six. Uh, normally, we do three dates. But this year, with the popularity of the show, we decided to do it as six. We also have two casts, which allow us to do one cast on one set of nights and one cast on the other. Okay, so the play and the movie are very different. What are some of the big differences that you've noticed? Uh, the music, uh, there's a lot more dance involved. Uh, there's some difficult choreography. But overall, there's a lot of songs that you don't associate with the movie that are in the Broadway musical that are really incredible. How was directing the musical? It's tedious, it's long, mm -hmm. but it's also a lot of fun. I enjoy working with my kids, so... Mm. Well, okay. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break, but don't go away. We'll be right back with more of The Focus Show. Stay tuned. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a scientist. I want to be a doctor. I want to be an engineer. Our younger students have the right idea. Today's leading careers are involved in science, technology, engineering, and math. Newport News Public Schools has embarked on an aggressive STEM education initiative that prepares students to take full advantage of STEM opportunities in higher education and career fields. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? The Navy Junior Reserves Officer Training Corps, or NJROTC, provides military science and leadership training for high school students. Enrollment in NJROTC does not require you to pursue a military obligation after high school. If you complete two to three years in NJROTC, you can enter the military in higher grades than other enlistees. For more information, please contact your school guidance counselor or visit www.njrotc.navy.mil or www.navyjrotc.us. Welcome back to The Focus Show. I'm your host, Chad Mobley, and we are still talking to Miss Courtney Rice about Mitchville's play, The Little Mermaid. So when we left off, we were talking about the directing part of the show. Mm -hmm. So I just have a few more questions about it. Um, what were some of the setbacks of the production? Uh, we tend to lose a lot of cast members when things really, uh, grades come out. Right after <laughs> grades come out, all of a sudden cast members, you know, the parents uh, tend to pull kids out of the show. They find that the workload is a little too much for them. Um, so we have a lot of understudies that we put into the show. Um, that's one of the biggest setbacks I think we have, is trying to balance, for the students to balance schoolwork and the responsibilities of being in a show. It's a lot. How were the ticket sales? For six nights, I would expect like We did crowds, really right? well. We did yeah. really well, but the royalty rights to Little Mermaid are crazy expensive. So unfortunately, what we tended to make in ticket sales, we spent on royalties. How was the process of getting the stage together, getting the actors together? How was all of that? Um, it's long, it's grueling, it's a lot of fun. 
uh, we spend a lot of time together. The entire spring break, we were together in the school by ourselves, building the sets, building the costumes. So while it is a lot of work, you get to know each other really well. They kind of become a real clique and a family because they spend so much time together. How long did it take to pull the whole production together? We started in January, and our first show was in April. Hmm. So it takes quite a while. Are there any productions that, you, that you're thinking about doing next year? Uh, one called No Almonds, No Raisins, about children in the Holocaust, uh, thoroughly modern Millie, uh, things that, again, don't have a lot of boys. I'm guessing that's not a musical. Thoroughly Modern Millie is, and oh. No Almonds, No Raisins is. It's uh, music actually sung by children during the Holocaust survive, during the Holocaust, written by a Holocaust survivor. Okay. Are there any final words you would like to say or anything you would like to mention? Uh, boys, you should try out for theater. It's not just for girls anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, I thank you, Ms. Rice, for thank coming you. today. And this has been The Focus Show. I'm your host, Trey Mobley, saying take care. Completed one, we are going to put it in our the weight loss if need to be. But really throughout the rehearsals, you get a closer look 